let's talk about Nganu. Let's do it, man. All what, right. What a story. First things first, I want to write to the camera. Francis Nganu, I apologize. I doubted you. I didn't believe, I didn't even know about you. Let me be honest. Mm. Didn't know about you. I just thought MMA. Yep. I had no understanding of your story. Francis, I humbly apologize. Let me, let me totally do that as wrong. well. Let me do that as well. You see, the, the narrative that's been set here, you have to understand from a boxers, we're on this side, innit? Conor McGregor's come over as a great striker and he got manners by Floyd. Couldn't even hurt Floyd. Mm hmm. Jake Paul is beating up these guys Countless for fun. He's be they're old. They're beating. They're old, but at the same time, come on, man. You're not supposed to be getting beaten up by a YouTuber. This guy was on Disney Channel when he was a youth. So for me, I'm looking the the narrative around MMA dons. I was like, bro, mm -hmm. it's gonna be a routine beating, and then we're off to Usyk. I apologize, Francis and Ganu. Thank you so I've much. I've learned a lot about you over the last couple of days, and I'm thinking to myself. Yeah, yeah. You're an anomaly. I, I also don't think that there's a bag of MMA guys that's going to come over and do that to our champions. No one's putting hands on Terence Crawford. But what you did, you absolutely phenomenal display. You deserve every ounce of praise. And I want to see you boxing again. Yeah, I, I think his story is one that we have to be excited and get behind. We're talking about someone that was out of the ring for like over 600 days. Someone that had knee operations. Someone that said, you know what? You don't value me here. Yeah. I'm going somewhere else and I'm going to go get the bag. And he's successful because he's achieved it. This is, I was, bro, because I'm not an MMA fan. I was so unaware. And there's people that's calling in the show saying, give this guy more respect. Mm. You don't know who you're talking about. And I was like, well, it doesn't, it won't cross over. It didn't it move can't me. Make, it, this thing, this circus will not move the needle. So I wasn't even excited about this match. Shame. I was more excited about Woodley that. and Adelaide. There you go. And we saw what happened. This fight took over because he belonged. The yeah. first thing is, you know, when you talk about fear and stuff, you're going out there and you see a lot of boxers get worried when they're in certain situations. Like, how am I going to manage just a big show? Man, everything's on the line. He, was he in. sat in that seat. This is my crown. He was so comfortable. I was so comfortable there. And I then love he's seeing, backed I, up by the freak, the I other love, two kings. Yes, thank you. Israel, Adesanya, and Kamara. I said, yes. These optics here, lovely. Fantastic. And them man said, again, even they knew they belonged in this they, moment. Dana White was pissed off seeing them two there. Ah, uh, because you probably were, they probably wanted an injunction to say, mm -hmm. you can't be there. But who, how, who are you to tell me? I can't support him. I can't him. support my dog. My yeah, brother, yeah, I'm there. So that man pulled up, yeah, and it was so epic seeing him walk into the ring, but own the space. And then after, it's the fact that he's saying, look, I don't, I've never fought these many rounds before in my life. Mm. I've switched. He's a switch hitter. You was even mad when he's switching. I was livid. Southport. When I saw him go south, I thought, oh, don't just get sucked in because that's what he's doing. Brother, the, the comments on our video are just like, MMA, the switch hitting thing is normal. Normal. I'm like, raw, because when the way he switched and that the, the backhand, the left hand backhand, I was yeah. like, he's comfortable here. Literally. Salute. Salute. But then it's even that there's so many, there's so many levels of greatness what, what, what we're seeing from what he did. Mm. And it's it's like you went and fought the lineal champion, bro. That's right. You went and fought the man. The man of the moment, the one that is, the one that people are saying, well, how great is he? Could he, could he be in any era? And you made him look like that. Bro. That's impressive, bro. Listen, from one training camp, shouts out to the whole coaching staff. I know Mike Tyson was involved loosely, but he wasn't the head trainer. Mm. But everybody who was involved, fantastic work. Because I don't think people realize how difficult boxing is. Yes. To learn, to be comfortable, and then to carry it out. Yeah. You watch guys when they start their journey, they be deep in the Amis, but then from fight to fight, still learning. Oh, there's a left hack, a left hook that he started to work into the rotation. Nice lead uppercut. Oh yeah, a lot of new things being added, fight by fight. Fight by fight, it's a gradual thing. Yeah, Bro, I've boxed uh, quite a few rounds and I yeah. still ain't throwing like a proper left hook yet. Yeah. I know how to do it on the pads, yeah. but in bro, this guy's gone in there Complete, and the thing is, it's like your foundation as a fighter is set up differently when it's MMA because you can get attacked anywhere from the top to the bottom. But in this thing here, your footwork, so to just adjust everything into a different space yeah. and exist. Because I, I think people have done him a disservice where they say he wanted to box before. Bro, no, that's, that's not all enough. that is out of the, all that, bro, you're talking about the guy. Not you're one talking about match. going up against the, the guy, bro. I need to make, it's so hard to That's, break this bro, down. You know what this is like? <laughs> you who do like, you know, we're just casual sports whenever you find time and suddenly be like, yeah, I wanted to sprint back in the day. And somehow you're neck and neck with Usain Bolt and you just about lose. 
Pardon? My hamstring should blow out. <laughs> my they should just go. It, it, this, that's what it's like. This is this is the level of what you, that's like saying, you know what? I swam a, I swam a little bit back in the day when I was young and I wanted to be a swimmer. Michael Phelps, let's go. And neck and neck, I'm right there with him. Just at the end, you lose. <laughs> and then trying to give it up, like, yeah, hey, no, that was Come sick, on, man. Hey, you did your thing, man. <laughs> yeah. That's what? not light. That's not light. Brother. Yeah, I was impressed, man. Made for the big moment. And Garnu, I'm so happy because money. Fit, Money after you make. 100%. In this moment right now, yeah, 100%. he is about to get dope. Because guess, who, guess who's talking? AJ, Eddie Hearn is, is campaigning. Eddie Hearn. Everybody is just talking his thing. And I'm just like, boy. So this is Anthony and Joshua. And since Garnu. we've apologized, can we now have a conversation separate? This is the now us talking about yeah. AJ versus Nganu. AJ Nganu. Let's, Eddie Hearn's been talking about, he says, Rumble in the Jungle 2. And I, I love that. I love for this fight to be in Africa. Said it, we said, we yeah, said yeah, that's right. We said it, bro, we I said love it. for this fight to be in Africa. This is a perfect, I think. Take it there. It just needs to be, man. Take it there. Think about think about what it would be like for these men to be, especially like an AJ, who would obviously be a fan of Muhammad Ali growing up, to know that you get to do something that Ali did. Oh. What? What? Hey, listen, and Africa will pay. Listen, two, That's, two African fighters going over there. Whoa. Listen. That is what you're doing right now. Listen. What do we do? Because again, Israel and them, man, I don't know who they come in with now, you know, because obviously. No, nah, I think the Nigeria team would take over because Kamari husband and man, they, they got the, they're both Nigerian. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, so, you know what? They're going to come with their guy. They're going to come with their guy. They might come with their guy, though. They, they're gonna they're go used with, to with, coming out with Nganu. They're going to come out with Nganu. 100%. That's their guy. That's yeah, their, 100%, 100%. But then you should be with me, though. Bro, come on, man. If you was fighting a, 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 another Jamaican brother, you think, what? I'm not coming in with you. I hope you're gonna. Yeah, yeah, of course, bro. Yeah. Of course, that's the. Um, no, they're oh, gonna wait. come in with their let guys. Me, let me, like, let, let's think of the level of Jamaican that it is, though. We, who, who, who? You Someone that you rate, though. What do you mean? Like a good a Jamaican that you feel like, ah, maybe should stand next to him, though. <laughs> <laughs> is there a Jamaican? That you think, ah, oh, you know what? It depends how they're talking uh, uh, like, in the lead up for the like fight. Like it's though. like one of your dancer artists that you truly rate. <laughs> <laughs> wait, Al hold Alkaline. On. Alkaline. What you did? <laughs> What are you doing? I'm, Jam, I'm, you I'm, drive to Alkaline, bro. That's you, bro. But me and you, champion, we know each other. Champion, champion, but you know what? And he's coming in. He's coming to also. You know you got your hand up. You know, you know what it is, yeah? You know when you see the basketball highlights? Yeah. And the brother gets dunked on by the other team, but it's crazy. And his own bench are just like... <laughs> Everyone knows where I'm like, I'm scared to get to the tune just a little bit. No, I'm sitting. I'm, so I'm you're sitting, coming, you're, I'm you're sitting, rolling. I'm gonna sit ringside. I'm gonna sit ringside. What do you mean? I'm no, I'm drinking. Are you, I'm, <laughs> drinking. <laughs> I'm drinking. I'm coming, man. I'm coming. Yeah. I'll nudge. I'll spot him after the fight, just to be like, obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. My list is your thing. Yeah, you know I mean, but, but anyway, no, I'll, I'll be trying to come friends with him. I'm like, yeah. What's the new thing dropping, bro? You know I mean? <laughs> no, 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 no. I better won that fight. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not even a conversation you'd be having. But anyway, let's, <laughs> let's move. Let's so move. we move. We talk about this situation, yeah. Nganu versus AJ I think in Africa. For narrative control. For narrative control, yeah. This is how, if, he, if this plays out the way that they would want it to go, this is how you get control of the narrative between AJ and Fury that's been bubbling over the years. Yes. If you beat Nganu now, convincingly. Brother? No one can be like, yeah, hey, Fury definitely beats AJ. That convo there. Every, no, this it. literally changes everything. He kills it. It changes, it changes so much because what they need now is they need for a way that Nganu just knocks over everyone. Mm. But the problem is they can't praise and they're stuck in between a rock and a hard place. They can't praise Nganu too much because they might have to see him again. Have yeah, you noticed that? They, right. have, they haven't been saying they haven't said he anything positive. everyone. They, they, they said, no, nah, the power's still all right. Even when Fury's talking about him, he's like, he goes, how do you think he'll fare? He goes, well, well, he gave me a bit of trouble. But, yeah. you know, we'll see. I mean, look, he hit me on the, you know, behind the ear. Yes. It's just nonsense. In boxing, you have to do that to say you can't make him greater than even the Usyk, situation allows. Even Usyk and them, man. I thought Fury won. I, I've yeah. had Fury winning. Yes. But Usyk was shouting from the side, use your jab. When the ops have to come together because they're looking thinking, don't mess up my money. Bro, change the word to 
Protect the bird. Yeah, <laughs> that's what he's that's what he's really saying, bro. It's not used to Jeb, bro. 100%. Protect the bag, fam. We're supposed to be fighting. What the hell are you thinking? Yep, absolutely. Even like I'm hearing, um, was it Krasiuk, the promoter? Yeah, bro. Them man were they're not giving Ngannou anything. They no one can't. is. It's hilarious. Because he's arrived. It's again, you know when it we kill the, the narrative. No, and it's it's the, it's the G check thing. It's when when it's the same thing when Chizora tells us about the lions, what do you call it? Yeah, yeah, recognize yeah. a raw lion when you see one. We can't recognize this guy yet because this guy is now our competitor. They said, um, WBC, Suleiman said, we need to rank this man. Mm. He said, we must rank this man. From what I saw, I saw enough to know he needs a ranking on WBC. And it's funny because even Eddie Hearn is not going crazy on the Nganu praise. He He's can't. like, what the hell was Fury doing? Fury looked like nonsense. He goes, Ngannou could probably lose to anybody from English title up to world level. Like any one yes. of those guys. Like they're keeping Ngannou. They have to. Everyone has to. Because he can come in and say, because what Ngannou did is he stepped in and every day you, his videos are changing. He said the belief is growing in him. He said, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I just arrived here. And the guy that everyone is saying is the main man, I knocked him down. And I think I beat him actually. Hold on. Does that make me number one of you man's things? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I just learned. <laughs> that's what he's, bro, that's what he's saying to himself. 100%. And then in their heads, they're like, we can't let this guy, because his that. backstory. He can't, he can't take that. His backstory is enough to carry him already. Everybody loves him. His backstory is perfect. Oh, it's so threatening, bro. He's a he's a threat. It's, you know, it's, and the thing is, he had this quiet confidence about him. Yeah, it's like when every once in a while I'll do a gig, and you know, none none of the, the hosts or, or anybody or the comics know no, I'm a I comic. Yeah. So I'm just in there like, oh, have you been going long? And I'm just sitting there like, mm. just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to shell this place uh, to the high yeah. heavens. But it's just calm. I don't need to talk. Why am I going to tell you I'm funny? Let me just go out there and do a madness, bro. Sometimes I get. Confused for security, and there's ah, oh, do you mind if I smoke out there? <laughs> yeah, do your thing, do whatever you want. I say, I, I allow them, I give them authority. I say, yeah, got you, do your thing. <laughs> Just so then, it's the confusion <laughs> to seeing the guy that you call security. That's hilarious. Shell up the thing, bro. Straight. But it's important, mm -hmm. it's good because what we did, and even when he was doing on working the pattern, he's moving mad slow, yeah. he's still sending. I think that was part of the games. It was that was a part of the mind games. So well done. It was mind games because everyone saw him on the pads and said, Nah. And he said, bro, well, you lot gonna hate anything I do anyway. That's right. He said, listen. Why am I trying to impress you? Why am I trying to impress you? And even in the workouts, it's just for people to enjoy. Mm. Some people just dance. And I thought, he's it's got real. a point. It's real. But he knew already and he played the game with us. So let's talk. AJ and Garner, what does that look like? Let's go. Um, um, it, 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 there's, there's a couple prefaces. There's oh. a couple prefaces. Now, um, AJ needs to be the, 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 the talking that he says, you know, sweet science and really boxing and be a true boxer. That's the, this is the day when all of that's necessary. It's real. This is the day where I, was gonna say I need to see the AJ that he's been, what AJ's been talking about and what he's been working towards becoming. Yeah. We need that AJ. All the stuff you was trying to perfect against Usyk and since... That's, Bro, this is where it's needed. All of it. This is it. Because now. It, then, because then it would be a much easier day at the office. Yes. If you then, if you go to try and war this brother, because now. I don't think that any of the boxers have, are going to have the brute strength to go in there and do roughhousing. And you can't roughhouse him. That's you can't. Not, you can't wrestle him. Forget about holding. When forget he tried to, when he tried to get inside, if you tried to get inside, I've never seen him ragdolled like that. Yes. He was going to the floor at every one of those exchanges. Yeah. yeah. AJ is not an inside guy. This no. is where your boxing and clean, clean right hands down the pipe are going to be what wins. We need fight. to see Ruiz to AJ in terms of that was the that was one of the no, punch I, punch perfect. I would say in terms of yeah. how he was fighting, it was just but was I need tactical. Yeah, but I also need you. You got to punish someone like Ngannou. You got to make him. He's got to respect your power. I know that it doesn't Bro, necessarily have to knock him they out. Hit him with an elbow. Fam. Yeah, I hate he you. ate the but elbow. Fam. How many clean punches did Fury really give to him? He didn't land much work. Bro, he landed a clean elbow. Yes, I know what you're saying. I'm talking about single shots. I'm not saying that you should try to knock him out. Okay. But cool. what you're going right, to have to do is to not allow him to just walk at you because he is going to be effective. But he has a good punch variation as well. That's what I'm saying. And then it was the, the, the type of punch it was. He's got, apparently, again, as not an MMA guy, 
he has the powers in both hands. He does. He does. The and powers it, in both hands. The, the, the only benefit in this is that AJ's done 24 rounds with Usyk. Yeah. So the Southpaw thing should not be a thing where I haven't seen many Southpaws in my yes. career. You've seen one of the best Southpaws. Yeah. So for me, I feel like you should have enough intel to tap into. If the knockout, I don't think you should I be forcing a knockout. If AJ gets hit with something, though, it's that smiling on the floor thing that I don't want to see. Like, you know, you know, AJ drops it, like, and he takes a punch, ah, and he gets up. But he ain't been do... down, you're talking... The no, I'm saying is... that's what I don't want to no, see. No, I hear with, it. With I someone like Nganu has the power... No, he does have ...to power. take him down, because, bro, I, as I, even though Fury's been down before, Fury's it's not been the down first time. bare times from bare men still. Yeah. So that's yeah. why, for me, like, it's not a guarantee that it's concussive power. We're still... I trust that Nganu is a very powerful puncher. Mm. But I'm, I'm just saying, you know... These men have been hit by big guys before. Yeah. So my thing is, go in there. You could tr get your respect. You're going to have to assert yourself. I don't think it can be a little soft patter patter all night, but it's got to be a thing I don't where think, th and this is the thing about this man's journey and stuff, and like, it's almost, it had to go this way. You know when you see someone that is going against the odds um, every single time? This, uh, Ngani's story now is pretty much, I go against the odds, bro. Yeah. So in moments where I should be afraid and should be scared, he goes, he goes, runs directly to it. That's his almost his coding. So yeah. he will look for the moments. He will. This man is that's trying why, a well, super punch in in the final round. Well, that's why you got to be on your game. Fury was not on his game. He didn't respect this guy. AJ won't make that same mistake. Not after watching yeah, that. Yeah. It's just not going to be how it goes. But then this is and this is the point. I'm not I saying talk that to. this is guaranteed to work, but Definitely. that's the way to go for it. This is the part I want to talk to you because when he when in all of this boxing stuff, the psychological element is key. And I think sometimes it is overlooked by us and many people that the psych there's a lot of things psychologically happening and you've questioned AJ for being just um fragile at in moments. The, the dark room in the in the dark you, you question him. You do. You can't, anyone that says they haven't you're lying. You yeah. know what I mean? So it's like, it's what version do I have? I'm not talking about the fighting AJ, but are you, are you tuned in for this moment right now? Because when you do, if no, if it is in Africa, it's already big. It's going home and there's pressure. Like there's telling jokes to people that you don't know. There's telling jokes to a, a room that knows you different. So in, in the flip side for an AJ pulling up, the last time we traveled was America and it was a bad night. It was. So yeah, we need I mean, to, wherever we go, this mindset has to be on point. As soon as I walk in, I know where it is. It's a fight. It's a demolition job. But the thing is, yeah, these these conversations and these caveats, these are more pressure. These are more pressure to, to go in with this thought process. No, I'm saying that he goes no, in. I hear what, I hear what yeah. you're saying, but as in this mindset, go in there. It's got to be. Yeah. This is one of those things. He's just going to have to find that. That's his job. Uh, you see what I'm saying? I think we do a lot of over analysis when it comes to AJ. He's fighting regularly. I understand he's that. No, he's fighting regularly. He's staying in the gym. He, he's got to find that himself. Yeah. We're going to be like, yeah, he needs to He needs to do this. He needs to do that. Bro, he's going to show up to fight. It's not like he's someone we've got to push into the ring. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that he's not like, because the way he showed mental strength, so just just to say like he's not ever shown it, he shows it each and every time because he's had to, he's had boxing on his back for a very long time. Yeah. And he's carried it. And we see what the pressure does to fighters. This is what I'm saying. And what we what we did see when I knew that mentally he's really strong is, how many times did he get knocked down by um, Ruiz? Oh, uh, it was like five. Was it five So to times go or? back and to go back and- Straight back in. To those demons where we said, well, he needs a warm up. He went straight back in. He said, you know what? I'm going to do it. Another when when he, when he has showed it is when he lost to Usyk twice and then Fury calls him out and they think he's going to be w mentally broken like, and he it. won't accept. He said, run it. So I'm, I'm, I know that exists, but I'm just saying that you have to be on point in this moment. You have to be. I think he was under more pressure by maintaining this public persona image than, than he will be under now. He's not visible like that. He's not doing Agreed. unnecessary stuff Agreed. to the point where he's so overexposed and tweeting and stuff get, he's not involved in this thing. He agreed. So like, for me, I put less stock into, is he in the right place? And more into the fact that, bro, this guy clearly wants to fight a lot. He wants to fight regularly. Fury, you have to hoax into the ring, make him feel like a God so that he can step into the ring. This man talking about the government, don't roll out the red carpet for me after everything after. When have you heard AJ talk like that? Mm. This guy's been carrying that pressure, bro. This guy walks into the Klitschko fight. 
I'm like r- not even enough experience waving and smiling. Brother, I was furious when I saw him walk into the ring like that. I was thinking, lock in. <laughs> this guy went in there and did an absolute madness. Nobody could have seen coming. What I'm saying is we're talking about pressure. This guy knows pressure. Mm-hmm. Whether or not it's having an effect for him that he can't pull it back, we're yet to see. But this he's not it. losing silly fights. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. lost to two guys that people that won't speak class. about like they're bums. Yeah, Usyk class. is not a bum. He's a people class. are just doing narrative. AJ needs to retire. No point Fury fighting him now. It's a lie. And you all know it is. Because this guy Fury is supposed to be this guy and he keeps, sh- keeps looking like a charlatan. Mm. So for me, I'm like... I'm not putting stock into is AJ going to be in the right space? Is any of these are any of these guys in the right space right now? All I'm saying is in the just to and that, just to make sure that I make sure we do give the Ngannou the correct service and well, this respect is the this you, is the the, the fight AJ versus this yeah, is, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is AJ versus Ngannou. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All I'm saying in this thing is I I totally understand that this guy is a force to be reckoned with. Yep, and I we know for sure he can only get better. That's fact. If he's committed to this boxing thing, and he and should be he very, he should be very clever. I know he says he wants to go back to the old. Um, I don't really he wants to go back to MMA. I don't want to. But leave. they're the kind of money. I know he's got a good deal, but the kind of money that they're gonna put on the table for him for this next boxing fight, strike while the iron's hot. Yeah. Right now, AJ, you, AJ you, or it's, Wilder. It's AJ or Wilder. I say Your AJ. Take the AJ fight. Generational money. And I look at that and I'm like, I want you know. Obviously, people know we're big AJ fans, but at the same time, I like Ngannou to the point I want to see him get paid. Yeah, generational money. Yeah, I, I want to see him get paid. I like for it to be an AJ thing in Africa. That's a powerful, powerful. It's just night. beautiful. Yeah, that's a beautiful moment. Everyone had to fly out there, and it's one. And of, it, it's it'll one, be incredible. Hundred percent, and it's one of the ones where I don't have a heavy prediction on it. But I'm yeah. like, if this, if you AJ is to win, it's going to be through that boxing method. Keep him honest. You got to make him respect your power. He didn't respect Fury's power. Mm-hmm. Fury became a puncher recently and that power seemed to just not be there at mm-hmm. all on that night. So it's one of the ones they try and make him respect. If not, then out just box his head off. Mm. And if if there's a world year where Nganu becomes a, 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 a boxing, a WBC or IB, whatever, any right. of these, if he, sh- he becomes he be a WBC. champion. He should be the WBC champ now. Well, if he, if there's a world where this thing happens, oh, my goodness, that the biopic. Bo- the boxing versus MMA be... narrative becomes crazy. Oh. J- John Jones would, I'm sure, he'd, he'd pop they're up The man them are pulling up. They'd be pulling up. Oh, bro. they're pulling up. They say, you made that. They'd be pulling You know, up. that's what he needs to hear. Wait, so how much you make? One so, fight, man one messaging. night. Dana, right now, is praying oh, on, Dana on, White. on Ngani's downfall. Dana White was the third judge. Yo, people, thanks for watching the Undefeated Podcast. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, leave a comment and all that good stuff, man. This is the place to be.